Hey dudes! As you can see by the title, this is going to be my makeup collection slash organization tour. It's kind of like that part of Cribs where everyone wants to know what's in your refrigerator, except that I'm not cool enough to be on Cribs, and I don't even think that's a show anymore, and I don't usually eat my makeup. Usually. Quick disclaimer that I feel like needs to be on these kinds of videos since a lot of people seem to get upset about the reason behind these videos. I'm only doing this because you guys have been asking me since I started my channel to do one and I'm also hoping that it can help some aspiring makeup artists so that they know a little more about what maybe to fill their kit with or hopefully it will also help the makeup hobbyist who is just uh, looking for new ways to store and organize makeup. I do have a lot of makeup but keep in mind that this is my job and I've been a professional makeup artist for almost seven years now. So these are things that I've collected over a lot of time. I've always been the kind of person that puts money I get from work back into my work. But I also get some makeup sent to me for free because that's what makeup companies do in the social media world. They send you products so that you can try them out and see if you like them. Most jobs have job perks and that's just one of the job perks of this. I am very, very, very fortunate to have what I have and this is not to try to show off or, uh, I, I don't know, I just don't want anyone to get the sense that I don't fully appreciate everything that I have. With all that said, let's jump into it. This is the makeup zone. It's a thing from Ikea. A lot of people have the Alex drawers from Ikea and that's what they use to put their makeup in. But the Alex drawers have like these really, they're like shallow drawers, which is perfect for most makeup collections. However, that would not have worked for me because a lot of the FX things that I need, like giant bottles of latex and the like, will not fit in Alex drawers. So I needed something that was tall. Hence, you'll see there's lots of compartments inside of all of these drawers and these cupboards. You'll see down there my tripod leg, which you're not, you're not supposed to, you're not supposed to see. What is this? These little boxes that you just, you just pull them out. They're not fancy. But yeah, all my makeup's in here. Guess how many of these? Let's see. So there's eight squares. Guess how many squares are dedicated to beauty and guess how many are dedicated to FX makeup? If you guessed two for FX makeup and six for all the beauty stuff, you'd be correct. Probably not what you were thinking, huh? Uh, this is a dark corner of my apartment. I have some lights to help me, but I think we're gonna have to go point of view in a second here so that you can fully see what's in here. In this corner, we have the lips. Or should I say the lips? So this is the lip cubbyhole, filled with all of my lip things. Ooh, ooh, no, this bothers me. Why is it the only white one here? Why are you, are you a primer? What are you doing here? Yeah, you are. Ooh, that bothers me. So, as you can see, uh, I have a lot of lip products, mostly because I have the hardest time parting with lip products, because you never know when you're gonna need that exact shade of pink, you know? These are my lip liners. These are all separated by, I think, brand, although I think these are both Makeup Forever with a little bit of MAC. This is ColourPop, but yeah, so that's the liners. And then I have a bunch of just odd collections separated in here. Like I said, not the best thing for organizing makeup, but considering that I need the tall stuff for the FX down there, this is just what has to be done. So I've got Makeup Geek in here collection, Jeffree Star Sugar Pill and Melt lipsticks up in here, Smashbox lipsticks, you can see all my little white makeup paw prints all over this. And Makeup Forever's new acrylic lip paints are in here. Another Smashbox box, but these is all ColourPop. Uh, Smashbox lipsticks. We got a bunch of MAC lipsticks in here. And they're face down in here, that way you can actually read the top and find them. And then on to the big boys, oh yeah. So I just pulled out the two things that were sitting up in there that you saw. Here we got ColourPop lip glosses, Anastasia Beverly Hill lip glosses. This is the entire um, Makeup Forever Artist Rouge collection. These are lipsticks. This is OCC lip glosses. Well, they're like the lip tars in bottle tube form. This is the liquid lipstick side. This is ColourPop liquid lips. Uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills, Jeffree Star, NYX, and Kat Von D. But I need a lot more Kat Von D because these are probably my favorite formula of them all. So yeah, these are all of my lip products. Excessive, I know. Oh, and by the way, these two containers came from the container store along with their little dividers to divide the brands. 
Uh, these Smashbox boxes came with sets that Smashbox sent. This came with the Makeup Geek set. And these little acrylic things are from, I don't remember where, but you can find them all over the place. This is also from the container store. Then in this side, we've got lashes and body paint. Let's take a look, see. I have these two lash books at the top. There's one from House of Lashes and one from Tarte, but they're full of lashes from all kinds of different brands. I like keeping them organized this way because it saves space to have them all in one spot like this. Although you'll see I still have plenty of boxes of lashes on top of that. This one's not full yet. An opportunity for more lashes. I really like the one that Tarte sent because it's got all you need kit for lashes in here too. Glue, scissors, applicators. Yes. In this little cubby thing, same, same containers by the way from the container store, but in this little square, I've got a little bag full of different kinds of lash glue. But we all know my favorite kind of lash glue by now. And then here I've got an extra box of lash boxes. I like keeping the Flutter Lashes boxes since the names are right on the top and it's easy to see. And uh, just, yeah, some extras. These are bottom lashes over here that I wanted to keep separate. Then here I've got the body paints, but I'm not gonna pull this out because this is really, really hard to get out with this screw. I'd have to like take off the door to pull it out. But these are from the container store as well. These are my um, water activated body paints as well as down here. These are water activated body paints and these are cream paints from Makeup Forever. And then we've got some more body cream. See this thing gets in the way. Unfortunately. Cream paints like these in here. Also got uh, flash palettes because these are awesome and you can use them for everything and anything. If you have nothing else in your kit, you could just do everything with one of these. It's pretty sweet. All right, moving on to the drawers. Let's start with this one. This was so that I could kind of get the Alex drawer feel with more shallow drawers inside. That way I could hold my smaller bits of beauty makeup. So here, it, it looks very tight. Um, more container store organization things to break it up. And then I keep things separated in bag by brand, usually just to make sure I can find things quickly when I need it. Here I've got some um, Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. They're like the contour and highlight palettes and such. You can see, get back in there. In this corner we have what little bit of blush I actually use, which we know is not much. This is all highlight and contour right here. We've got some that are just like in their pan that I use frequently that I know I'm gonna be replacing soon anyway. Then back here, hard to get to, but like I said, everything in here is packed mostly for spatial awareness and less for quick accessibility, so I don't mind having to dig if it means that I can save space. Colored eye pencils all the way back here, more colored eye pencils. These are by brand, so I think back here I have Makeup Forever and this is ColourPop. Here I have all different kinds of mascara that are ready to go when I need the next one. In here I've got all my favorite Tarte Babies. Mm. Here are all black liquid liner markers from different brands. And these are all of my white eyeliner pencils. Cause you can never have too many white liner pencils, you hear me? And then this long strip is all the eyebrow products. I have brow gels back here. I have skinny pencils. These are all Anastasia in this bag. I think these are all NYX in this bag, right? Yeah, NYX micro pencils. And then we've got like the, the eyebrow creams. Anastasia there. We got ColourPop down here. So some people would probably hate the bags, but for me it works really well because if I know I want an Anastasia color for my brows that day, I can just come in here, pull it right out, and it's much easier to find than having them all loose within there. That's, that's that drawer. How is this already fingerprinted? Already. In this drawer underneath of it, I've got glitters and pigments. These are all of my jar type things for beauty makeup. So this is all sugar pill pigments that I have. These are all MAC pigments. Makeup Forever pigments. What's in here? What's here? We got Makeup Geek. All separated. And then I just kind of smush them back. And then, then this side is all my worst nightmare. 
This is all glitter, not organized by brand because I didn't have one complete collection really of glitter anyway. But um, I've got lots of siren glitter in here. I like them a lot. I have Violet Voss, I've got NYX, I've got Makeup Forever, I've got, uh, is that ColourPop? You don't belong in here. But yeah, so this is uh, the scary drawer. Mm -hmm. Nothing else to see here. Oh, oh geez. I'm gonna move over to this drawer and then work my way up because this drawer is kind of like the random freaking drawer. Down here, ooh, so satisfying already. I love when there's so much order to things. Lots of ColourPop and lots of foundations slash concealers. So things just kind of fit where they fit. Kind of bugs me that it's like half eyeshadow, half foundation-y things, but whatever. This side is all ColourPop shadows that I have. And then underneath of them, I have the ColourPop cream colors, you can see. I'll take cream colors. Yes. All right, then over here, we've got Tarte concealers. And we've got some Born This Way concealers. I love Born This Way. They just don't make any shades pale enough for my natural skin tone. But if they did, I would live off this stuff. Ah, no! Oh my god, get out of there. I'll rescue you. Search and rescue. My arms aren't long enough. Then we can slide these babies up. These are a bunch of Makeup Geek contour and highlight. They should go in here with the rest of the contour and highlighters, but uh, they just don't fit, and they fit there. So that's where they are. More containers from Container Store. This is from the Container Store too. Same as in this drawer, Container Store. And then here we have Tarte's Rainforest Water Foundations. Ta-da! This one is actually light enough for me, which makes me super happy. Porcelain, you can't read it, but it says porcelain. And these are really cool because they've got like little dropper tops that you suck the foundation up into them. And it makes me feel like a scientist. Yeah, so that's that drawer. I'm a little bit like Monica from Friends. Everything needs to be in its spot. You, back in line. Okay, and then this, this drawer I'm not proud of, but I needed a place to put what was left. So there's no real theme to this drawer. It's kind of all the random leftover bits that didn't fit into other sections or there wasn't a whole lot of to make its own drawer out of. These are some leftover lipsticks and lip glosses. Stuff like that. This is the setting spray section, but there's a random setting spray over here that was too big to fit over there. Uh, here we have, uh, it's over here. Some extra concealers over here. Some extra primers. These are more primers. These are more primers. Some extra random pigments. And then way back there, which seems impossible to get to, but these drawers are pretty easy to take out. I'll show you. Hit, hit. Okay, now the drawer is pretty much out. Back here, I've got extra beauty blenders ready to go and powders. Yeah. Oh, and scissors. That's where my scissors went. I've been looking for you. Now we move on to the pull-out boxes, ooh. So, let's start with the bottom one. This is all palettes. Oh, and sponges, because there was nowhere else to put those, oops. So these are, these are pretty much all the ones I have. There's a couple other, you know, like you saw the Anastasia contour palettes up in there, but otherwise, they're all here. These are more easily identifiable or smaller palettes up in the front here, like this. Identifiable, right from the get-go. Alchemist palette, ooh, look at, ooh, ooh, dad holographicness. I can't get over this. I could stare at this all day if I had nothing else to do. Got some foundation palettes in here. These were really helpful when I freelanced a lot on set. They were easy to clean. They were easy to find a match really quickly. Swamp Queen, PBJ, Sugar Pill, oh yeah. And back here, we have my Monica side showing all of my palettes uh, labeled and organized. Makeup Geek is up here, and these are all palettes, well, these Makeup Geek ones are palettes that have been put together from individuals. Uh, let's do some close-ups. I have a lot of Morphe palettes. 
and uh, yeah, they're just kind of, kind of self-explanatory. Then for the last, I guess this could be beauty or FX, but it's mostly beauty. This is my most beloved box. <laughs> You're probably about to think I'm absolutely ridiculous. Da 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 da. All brushes. So right now you're thinking to yourself, Mikey, why on earth would anyone need this many brushes? Well, I'll tell you, because you can never have too many when you're freelancing, in my opinion. Because sometimes, folks, when you're working on set and you're working on several different actors and it's very fast paced, you don't have time to stop and wash brushes in between actors. You need to have an entire set of brushes just for them to be as quick and efficient as possible, or at least that's something that I prided myself in being on set, was like super quick. So what was important to me was having enough brushes that I didn't have to worry about cleaning them in between actors. I just had a whole new set clean and ready to go. Then in between days I would clean them, or if the turnarounds were so tight or you were on set for like 16 hours a day that day, and you knew that all you had time to do in between that day and the next day was sleep, then you had so many more brushes to choose from until you could catch up and clean them all. So, in my opinion, you can never have enough brushes. They're all organized in these little things of different colors from the container store. Underneath of there is my airbrush gun hiding, but here, they're all organized in little things so that they stay separated. And it's roughly organized by size or shape or density. This one looks really dirty for some reason. Get out of there. And then I usually just clean them with this little thing in the sink or with brush cleaner. But here I've got my tiniest little skinny brushes. Here I've got more flat, dense packing brushes. These are fluffy brushes. These are like bigger fluffy brushes in between too big for your eye, but too small for the rest of your face. These are my duo fiber type brushes mainly. These are mostly foundation type brushes or really uh, dense contour brushes. And then this back row is just like fluffy to more fluffy powder brushes. These are more angled. These are more flat and round and these are just like the gigantic ones and I have brush guards on a couple. I wish I had brush guards for all of the big powder ones, but alas, I don't yet. So, oh, and sometimes there's just giant fan brushes. Ain't that weird. There's also a healthy mix of really crappy brushes in here. Let me find one. Here you go. Really crappy brushes. This is legit just a paintbrush, and that's because I have lots of cheap brushes in here for FX, like this. A lot of these are for FX makeup and I don't want those to be very good quality because they're going to get ruined. And then the other ones are nicer ones for beauty. So like, like this little chip brush, that's crappy, but they're all in here in one happy little home. That's the extent of the brush obsession. Moving on to FX, woo, Ripley, yeah, get pumped. All right, maybe next time. In this bottom one we have so many fun things. Stand up straight, act like a lady. These are sitting in little containers and stuff or bags, again, to try to keep them organized but visually quick to find from the top. These are all of my alcohol activated palettes in here. This is a bunch of ground coffee and scar wax all the way at the bottom because, you know, I don't, I don't dig that one out too much. Here we've got like, glycerin, we have a water bottle for spraying stuff when I need to. I have isopropyl mirror stay back here. Latex, 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 latex? Yep, <laughs> silicone, third degree. And this is all my blood. Thick blood, runny blood, scab blood, Ripley blood. Just kidding, never Ripley blood. <sighs> and then up here, we've got lots more. Again, fit into a small space. We've got this thing popping out at us, so let's examine. These are all disposable products from cosmetics in a little kit. This kit comes extra and handy for a lot of FX stuff when you don't want to use brushes and ruin them. Ah, no! 2,000 years later. That was unnecessary and traumatic. Yeah, so I've got this cool cosmetics kit. I'm not gonna make the same mistake twice, so uh, let's just take this bad boy right out. <laughs> we'll do it that way. Except I did make the same mistake twice because this happened the very next day. 
then the rest of what's in here are just other supplies that I've tried to break up and categorize as best I can. It's a little kind of random, but it works well enough, and it's all pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not gonna really open too many of these up. In here, we've got Q-tips, popsicle sticks, tissue paper gloves, you know, things that you'll need for FX messes, gelatin packs, extra rolls of tape. Here I've got a bunch of FX tubes, which is really vague, but it's, it's all kinds of stuff, and it's a mess since the whole drawer fell. It was all lined up nicely. Got like 3D gel and spirit gum, rigid collodion, random syringe, glue sticks, teeth enamel, eye blood. Then here I've got a bunch of random cream paints. They're pretty messy because, you know, the FX side of things just gets messier. Back here I've got prosthetics, teeth, bald caps, eyeballs, etc. Let's see what's in here. You know, random rabbit nose. Some random teeth, some random eyeballs. Just staring back at you. Some prosthetics, foam capsules, bald caps. You get the idea. This is like the random box. Rhinestones, crepe hair, airbrush paint, miscellaneous FX stuff, and acid tablets. <laughs> you never know what you're gonna need in the FX world. And then lastly, some FX jars. Again, very vague, but basically just taller things that wouldn't fit in one of these, is what these are. Got Plains Dust, Green Blood, Pus, which is, this is actually Kiana, Freakmo's Pus. She left it here, but Kiana, I got your Pus for you. More Pus, Petroleum Jelly, Charcoal Dust, Cinewax, an emergency supply of scab blood just in case. Extra pros aid, extra spirit gum, giant glue stick. All the things you'll ever need. And I really like, I forget, I think I got these at Target. These, all these things, but I really like them because these are so easy to use. But yeah, that's pretty much everything. The only thing not here is some of my sculpting tools, my clay, my life cast, some old molds that I've made are in another room. And I have a little bag of everyday makeup that I have set aside of my things that I use constantly for when I just need to throw on some makeup and go out for the day. Rather than dig through all of this every single day, I like to have a little stash of things I can get to quickly. And that stays in my bathroom. But anyone who follows my Snapchat also knows that I recently gutted this again because it was getting too full which I know sounds crazy considering it's already very full but um, I set a lot of makeup aside that is brand new and unused that I will be putting in giveaways soon so keep an eye out for that on all the social medias again I know it's a lot but like I said just keep in mind this is the collection of a professional makeup artist who does both beauty and effects this is not to say you need this much makeup to be a makeup artist. You don't. If you are not as obsessed with lipsticks and brushes as I am, then that will already significantly cut down on your collection. But I really enjoy collecting it. I use a lot of it. It gives me like unlimited creativity. But I could also be just fine with, you know, like a small fraction of this and I could get the job done. It's not about what supplies you have so much as it is learning how to use it. But I'm very grateful that I have the job that I do that allows me to have this and to have collected it over the years. And I hope that some of the uh, storage stuff gives you some ideas for your own. And uh, that's it. See you next time. Bye.